In every app you have access to, you can create your very own set of personal reports and email notifications. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. I'll show you how to create reports just for yourself and how to set up your very own notifications that you can use when records are added, deleted, or modified. It doesn't matter if you're the app admin or just a user. Having personal reports and notifications can make life easier. For this demonstration, I'm using an app from the App Exchange called the Simple Project Manager, and I'm in a non-admin role. To access your personal settings for an app, you'll go into the upper right-hand corner and click on that arrow next to your name. From here, you can choose the My Personal Settings for this app. Here you can choose to add a new notification or subscription or go into the reports. Let's start with adding a new notification. I'll choose the table and select notification. You'll notice the permission type here is set to recipient, which means me. I'll be the recipient of this email. If you're in a admin role or perhaps another role, you might see other options here beyond simply sending the notification to yourself. We'll give the notification a name, and then I wanna choose when a task is modified or added. I'll add some additional criteria for when the notes field changes. I wanna know anytime anyone adds my name to a note. So I'll choose the notes and put in my name. I'll leave the rest of the settings as default and hit save. Now every time my name appears in the notes sections, I'll get an email about it. Let's take a look at the reports. I'll add a new personal report, also to the tasks table, and hit create. I'll give the report a name, and scrolling down, you can see that the report is viewable only by me. So unless I'm an admin or have shared this link with others, I'm the only one who can see it. Now, if you are an admin or perhaps have other settings, you may be able to select here who can see the report beyond simply yourself. I'll scroll down to the filters. I'll add a similar filter here for the notes field. And I'll click save. It's now taken me to the report that I just created. Here in the reports and charts section, I can see a new category called mine with my new Sharon's personal report included in it. Any personal reports I create will show up here or I can always access them through the personal settings for this app. Using the new button in this menu will also allow you to create a report and depending on your role, save it as common or personal. There's also an option to create a subscription for this report. Under the More menu, I can choose New Subscription. I mentioned a number of times that some things depend on what role you're in for the app. The same is true for even accessing these settings. So if you can't access the personal settings or save a report, it's probably because the role you're in doesn't allow it. Also, personal doesn't mean private. Admins will have access to view, change, or delete these reports and notifications. If you are an admin, you can find all reports and notifications, including those personal ones, in the app management settings under Manage App Contents. Enjoy creating your personal reports and notifications. Until next time. If you learned something new, please like this video. And to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.